What does the future of transportation look like? And how do hydrogen and electric cars fit into this picture? As the world grapples with the pressing concerns of climate change and pollution, we find ourselves at a pivotal juncture. The spotlight has shifted towards more sustainable forms of transportation. And in this quest, two contenders emerge as potential game changers, hydrogen and electric cars. Both offer a compelling vision of the future, one where transportation doesn't come at the expense of our environment. They hold the promise of zero emission journeys, the allure of innovative technology, and the prospect of a world less reliant on fossil fuels. But as with any breakthrough, there are questions and challenges that need to be addressed. As we move forward, the choice between hydrogen and electric cars becomes increasingly significant. But which one holds the promise for a cleaner and more efficient future? Electric cars have surged in popularity over the past decade, but what makes them tick? And what are their strengths and weaknesses? Electric cars function primarily on batteries and electric motors. They are a marvel of modern technology, combining sophisticated engineering and design. They are powered by large rechargeable batteries, which drive the electric motors, propelling the car without a drop of gasoline. One of the biggest advantages of electric cars is their lower operating costs. With no need for fuel, oil changes, or exhaust system maintenance, the costs of running an electric car can be significantly lower than their gasoline counterparts. Plus, they offer the benefit of zero tailpipe emissions, making them a cleaner alternative for the environment. But let's not overlook their challenges. One of the most notable drawbacks is the long charging times. Unlike filling up a gas tank, which takes a matter of minutes, charging an electric car can take several hours. This can be a significant inconvenience, especially on long trips. Another concern is the environmental impact of battery production. While electric cars themselves produce no emissions, the process of producing their batteries can have a significant environmental footprint. The extraction of lithium in particular can be harmful to the environment. Electric cars offer a compelling vision of the future, but they are not without their challenges. How do hydrogen cars compare? Hydrogen cars are less well-known than their electric counterparts, but they offer their own unique advantages and disadvantages. Let's dive into the world of these vehicles, driven by the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen. The heart of a hydrogen car is its fuel cell. This device combines hydrogen from its onboard tank with oxygen from the air to produce electricity, which then powers the car's motor. The only byproduct? Water vapor. Yes, you heard right. These cars emit nothing more harmful than water, a compelling reason for their consideration in our quest for cleaner transportation. Now, what about the benefits? One of the major advantages is the quick refueling time. Unlike electric cars that need several hours to recharge, hydrogen cars can be refueled in just a few minutes, similar to traditional petrol or diesel vehicles. However, it's not all rosy. There are some considerable drawbacks to hydrogen cars. For starters, the infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is severely lacking, especially when compared to electric charging stations. Additionally, producing hydrogen fuel is currently an energy-intensive process, often relying on fossil fuels, which somewhat negates the environmental benefits. Hydrogen cars present an intriguing alternative to electric vehicles, yet they also face significant hurdles. So, where does this leave us? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the clash of these titan technologies in our next segment. Hydrogen and electric cars both offer potential solutions to our transportation challenges, but they each come with their own sets of pros and cons. Electric vehicles, with their efficient motors and rapidly improving battery technology, are great for short to medium range trips and have a well-established charging infrastructure. However, their long charging times and heavy batteries remain a challenge. On the other hand, hydrogen vehicles, with their quick refueling times and higher energy density, are ideal for long-range trips and heavy-duty applications. But the lack of refueling infrastructure and the energy-intensive process of producing hydrogen are significant hurdles to overcome. The choice between these two technologies will largely depend on future advancements, the development of supportive infrastructure, and individual needs. Both have a role to play in reducing pollution and transitioning towards a more sustainable transportation system. The future of transportation is exciting and full of possibilities. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the world of sustainable mobility.